Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a quick hair tutorial and also I wanna try out the new, well, I'm not actually sure I knew this is, but it's the GHD Oracle. So this here apparently just curls your hair automatically. I've tried it once, but I was in a rush so I didn't really get to play with it long enough. You basically just clamp your hair, pull down, and then when you release, you have a curl. So I wanna test it out in today's video and see how well it works because I think this could be an answer to a lot of people's prayers who find it hard to curl their hair. So I have just washed my hair and let it air dry in a ponytail hence why I look a little bit crazy right now so I'm just gonna blast dry it really quickly and I use these two products before or like for when I'm drying my hair so this is the Kerastas L'Incroyable blow dry cream I actually prefer the lotion because it's not as heavy on your hair and then I use the Kerastas elixir in the rose scent and also this the wet brush is the only hairbrush that I use it literally is the best especially this one here that has the little gaps in it so if you're blow drying your hair the air goes through it and doesn't damage the brush. So I've just brushed through my hair and because it's actually quite dry, I'm not gonna use as much of this because it can make your hair kind of feel greasy. So I'm gonna use this much and heat it up between my hands and then apply it throughout my hair. And this basically helps um, your hair to hold a style. So that is why I use it. And then I just use one pump of the oil and again, heat it out throughout my hands and then apply it through the kind of mid lengths and ends of my hair because obviously you don't apply the oil to your roots or it will make your roots greasy. So I'm just gonna literally blast around my hair now and then come back. Okay, so this is my hair blast ride and it's quite frizzy. So I'm actually gonna go over it really quickly with my GHD straightener, purely just to get the frizz out of it because I would do that anyway before I curl my hair. This step is completely optional. You don't have to do this, it is an extra step, but I just prefer curls when my hair has been straightened beforehand because they look kind of more sleek. So I'm just gonna section my hair in half. It's mostly just for the front of my hair and from the middle kind of downwards. Okay, so that is my hair straightened and majority of the frizz kind of taken out. Next, I'm gonna move on to this here, the GHD Oracle. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, which is what I do anytime I curl my hair, is just to section it. So again, I'm just gonna do it in half and then tie up the top bit and focus on the bottom part first. I don't actually know if you can hear this. I have it plugged in and turned on. It has a bit of a noise coming off it, okay. In the instructions, it just says to clamp the hair, turn it, and then pull down. So like this, clamp it 90 degrees, and then pull down. Okay. Oh, okay, that actually worked. Okay, it is quite tight, but I know curls always fall out a lot. Okay, so far I'm very impressed. So I'm gonna clamp, turn it 90 degrees, and then pull down. I'm not pulling down too quickly because I want it to be able to heat up and actually curl the hair. Okay guys, what the hell? How are more people not talking about this? Or maybe I just haven't seen it. What? So this is a very thin piece. So I feel like this is gonna be curlier. Obviously the thicker the piece, the less curly it's gonna be. That was fine. Guys, what? Oh my God. I didn't think it would be this easy. Turn and pull down. Okay, that one was a dud and I feel like because I didn't pull it properly there. Okay, so that one wasn't so great, but so far I am very impressed. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. So I picked this up in, well, an Ireland Peter Mark sell it. I can't remember exactly how much it was. Okay, why was that one not curling? But I'll leave the price on the screen here. I'm gonna leave that, I think, because it's already heated up. I have to let it cool before I go at it again. Okay, now it's not working anymore. What am I doing different? I think my angle is different. So obviously the angle is very important when using this product. Okay, so clamp, 90 degrees, and then pull down. Why is this one not working now? Oh, I know it is, okay. So I just need to work out the angle for the back pieces and then we're laughing. Maybe I'm taking pieces that are too thick. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. 
Okay, yeah, that worked again. It's the angle back here that's messing it up for me. But I'd say after using it once or twice, you'll really get the hang of it. And then it just becomes easier like anything. Oh, I really like this. And actually, I'd say I probably didn't need to straighten my hair beforehand to get the frizz out because this is almost kind of like a strainer. Like you can see, it puts the hair under that bit of pressure. And I'd say it would actually remove the frizz as you're doing it with this as well. So the next time I'll try it without straightening beforehand. Okay, yeah, that's definitely better. So I think the key is pieces not too thick or too thin. If they're too thin, they're gonna look too curly. To go slowly and make sure you have the right angle, especially when you start to move to the back of your head. Oh, but they feel really soft and bouncy. So I'll finish off this back area here and then show you it again at the front part here because it's easier to see. Okay, so this side is now finished. There are some pieces that just didn't curl, but I'm gonna put it down to me not really having the technique um, nailed at the moment. So again, I'm gonna take out a piece, clamp it, turn it, and then pull down. Okay. I'm almost kind of turning it back into my head instead of just a 90 degree, because I feel like that's actually making more of a difference. Okay, that also worked. I'm gonna tuck this hair up here so I can actually show you the hair behind. My thoughts on it so far are, it does work when you get the technique right. It's just making sure you have the technique down, which obviously is gonna take trial and error. So not expecting it to look amazing after today, the first time I've really used it. Okay, so I finished this side of my hair. Now you can already see the difference from this side to the first section that I did it's already an improvement. So I do reckon the more you use this, the easier it gets, like any kind of straightening tool and stuff like that. I'm not put off. I'm determined to keep on using it until I get the technique down. And I did just check online. So the technique that I'm using where you take it horizontally like this, and then you turn it 90 degrees and pull down is for the curls. But if you want beachy waves, you take a hair, which I'll show you next. I'll show you the wave technique from the top half of my head. You take the hair, vertically turn it 90 degrees and then pull down this way and that gives you a different effect so if you don't like the kind of curl look then maybe try the technique i'm about to show you next so anyway i'm going to continue on the top half of my hair now with the wave technique mm, okay that worked okay i prefer that a lot more than the kind of classic curl that is more my kind of curl even though it's a wave and i actually took a smaller piece of hair that time so i wonder if that's why i've been going wrong because i usually start off with an inch and then towards the end my inches are like this because i get lazy okay we're on something here Okay, yes. If you're gonna pick this tool up, don't use it for the first time before an event, unless you give yourself a lot of time, um, purely because you do need to kind of nail the technique and practice it a bit before you get the hang of it, like anything, because I can already see now I'm starting to kind of understand it and know the amount of hair I need and how long I should take when I'm pulling it down and stuff. So it definitely does work, you just need to make sure you're doing it right. So I'm very impressed with this. I think a lot of people will love this because a lot of people hate classic curling irons or can't curl their hair with a GHD straightener. And I actually read online as well that it's meant to give frizz-free curls and waves, so there was no need for me to straighten beforehand. So I'm gonna finish again this section and then come back and show you from the front of this section here so it's easier to see. Okay, so I'm actually gonna show you on this side, the front part, because Pretty sure I have the technique nailed now. I'm kind of pulling out and down instead of just straight down because I find it keeps the hair in better. And I've been leaving the end bits out just so it doesn't curl the end bits because that's the look I like. So again, turning 90 degrees and pulling down and kind of out a little bit and leaving the ends out. Just to show you the difference, even though it's gonna make my hair look crazy, if you're looking for a curl, you go horizontally, turn it, and then go down. And then if you're looking for a wave, you go this way. So clamp it. So clamp it like so, turn it this way, and then pull down. And then I leave at the ends, because I prefer that look. I'll 
take it. Okay, I'm not mad at that. So I'm gonna finish off this section here using the same techniques. I'm probably just gonna use the wave technique for the rest of my head. And then I'm gonna show you me using it on my extensions. Okay, so this is my hair now. It's an absolute mixture of waves and curls and techniques. So obviously it's quite wavy and curly now. I'm not gonna put any, I never actually use hairspray, so I'm not gonna put some in now. And it will drop a little bit and lose a little bit of volume, which is what I prefer because my hair can get very, very big, very quick. So I'm gonna leave this set. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to drop, I'm gonna move on to my extensions. The extensions that I use and I have always used for years now are the Foxy Lock Seamless Clip-Ins. I'll leave the exact ones I'm using on the screen here because I always mix up the grams and the inches. So I have these in the shade Latte Blonde and I've actually toned them with purple shampoo to make them more of an ash color. My own hair is a little bit more ash today because I left the purple shampoo in a little bit too long when I washed it this morning. So they're slightly warmer than my own hair, but once I have them in, they kind of mix around, it always looks okay. If you're looking for hair extensions, definitely check Foxy Locks out. They are amazing. The quality is second to none. And they have loads of different shades and lengths and stuff on their website. I personally love the seamless ones. If I bring them in close, you can see. So they sit really flat on your head and they're less visible to the eye if you were to move your hair or something like that. I never, ever, ever can see these once I put them in my hair. I do have an Instagram TV story on how I tone them and wash them if you guys wanna check that out. And if you're interested in purchasing the Foxy Locks hair extensions, you can use my code Chloe10 for 10% off. I'll leave a link to their website and all the details in the description box down below, so make sure you guys check that out. But anyway, I'm gonna move on. You can see that they kind of have the curl and style from the last time I wore them. I'm just going to brush them out and then go straight in with the Oracle. How am I gonna show you me curling these? Claudia, yeah. can you just do me a favor? Can you just hold these for one second? So I'm just gonna get Claudia to hold these for one second. So when you're doing this, you wanna make sure the single part here is on the top and never underneath. So I'm clamping it, turning it, and pulling down. The reason why I'm doing it in this, this direction is because this is how it would sit in my hair. Okay, I missed that one up. I think that was too thick. I was gonna say, I feel like they have to be thin. That's what I found. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take a thinner piece. So I'm gonna clamp it, turn it, and then pull down. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I have a good feeling. Do you? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh. So it does work on extensions as well. I'm gonna go over the first piece. So the first piece I picked was a little too thick. Let's see. Turn and pull down. And I also think, I said it like a few times, but how quick you pull it down makes a difference as well. I think they're slower. Yeah, so it can actually heat up the hair. Oh yeah, okay, love that. So I'm gonna continue and do, so you don't have to hold it anymore, like, yeah. Are you? <laughs> I'm gonna continue this and finish all of my extensions and then clip them in and show you the finished results. Okay, so I have curled my extensions. This is how they look. Usually I would actually clip the extensions in and then curl them while they're in my hair because it's a lot easier, but I did just wanna see how my own natural hair took to the Oracle. So what I'm gonna do is pop these in and then just style my hair really quickly and and then I'll show you the end result already. That kind of looks quite cool. Okay, so this is my hair with the extensions clipped in. If I thought I had a lot of volume before, this is next level. Like I said, they don't match exactly this time because I overtoned my hair just a little bit. And you can also see where my own hair from where I began the tutorial is still straight because I didn't do it properly. But I'm not gonna leave it like this because my hair is a little bit shorter and I find when I actually style it, to an upstyle or something like that, it makes the extensions look even better. But just the more blunt and thick your hair is, the harder it is to blend extensions, no matter how thick they are. Usually if you have kind of wispier ends, that's ideal for extensions. But I am just gonna throw my hair into a quick style that I've been doing recently, which is so simple. I have a tutorial on my Instagram as one of the posts, if you guys wanna check it out. It's so simple. So it will take me all of two minutes. So I'm gonna just turn around and show you this hairstyle. Sorry if some of the straighter bits are kind of coming out in it, but I do have a tutorial on this bobbin. I know, I'm not a hair professional, guys. I'm showing you what I can do. But yeah, that is such an easy, 
style to kind of do, especially for summer. It just looks really nice. It's off your face so you don't get too warm and it just blends your hair in with the extensions so easily. So yeah, I absolutely love how this turned out. Really happy with it. And would I actually recommend this product? Yes. I would. I'm excited to actually use it again because now I have the technique down and I know how to do the different um, curl and wave technique. So I'm really happy with it. So that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and kind of review video. I think this is my first ever review video. I'm not quite sure, but if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up because it really does help me out and I really appreciate it. And if you're not already, then feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with my videos. So that is it from me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.